doing. Good. Find the seat that it's comfortable. Welcome everyone. Namaste. Thank you for being in practice here with me today. Find the seat, like I just said, let your legs rest in your support. Any seat that you need today to make this moment an opportunity to enter our practice in stillness. Bring the inner gaze down into your breath and your heart center and take a few of these first breathing cycles to settle, to slow down physically, mentally and emotionally. Find a sense of alignment from the head to the heart, from the heart to the pelvis. And as you keep breathing, invite more space in between your vertebrae with softness to release the shoulders over the hips and find also ease and serenity through your face. As I'm always doing this week, we are talking about contentment or santosha, the second of the niyamas. And I'm sharing just a tiny piece today. It starts with a quote, and this one is from the Old Testament. And it says, behold, what I have seen to be good and to be fitting is to eat and drink and find enjoyment in all the toil with which one toils under the sun, the few days of his life, which God has given him. Yoga asks us to deep below the surface of the imperfect world created by our imaginations and connect to the divinity that underlies our existence. Krishna Murti wrote, have you ever sat very silently, not with your attention fixed on anything, not making an effort to concentrate, but with the mind very quiet, really still. If you can listen in this way, listen with ease, without strain, you will find an extraordinary change taking place within you, a change which comes without your volition, without your asking, and in that change, there is great beauty and depth of insight. Come into any posture, warrior two will do. Rest your eyes at one point and just breathe into every cell in your body. Listen with every cell in your body. Experience the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands, the length of your spine, the sensation of air against your skin. Allow the posture to bring you deeply into the moment and you will experience contentment. Not as in resignation, but as the vibrant experience of all living beings. As the song that is sung by a world that is sacred. So this is the invitation today to really be with each posture and your breath as the support to enjoy your practice, to make this journey the opportunity to grow spiritually, to connect to your breath and be in the moment. Let's bring our palms together into the heart center. And as always, we plant good seeds by offering our practice to whoever may be in need of our yoga today. 
perhaps someone who is in pain, suffering, suffering of any kind, and can be affected by our commitment, but our presence, by our presence, and our practice on the mat. Then we connect, head, hands, and hand as usual together at the center, bowing in, in gratitude, releasing the palms whenever you're ready onto your lap, lifting the head and opening the eyes. Welcome again, everyone, for being here and moving to the mat. Here we go. You know that this practice is less prop oriented, but you are always welcome to keep all of your props with you, blocks, blankets, anything you need, okay? I'm coming into uh, hands and knees first to start. We're going to move straight into the practice. Let's go. Hands down, bring your shoulders over your wrist. Make sure that you check your fingers let them spread a little bit and turn the fingertips out towards the sides of your mat. Once you have that ready, external rotation in your upper arm bones, move your knees a few inches back, curl your toes under, and today we go straight into our first down dog from here. This is the first one, so I'm letting you settle by movement. Take a few moments to pedal, to wiggle, to twist a little bit, and use this as the entry point to notice any strain, sensations, things that are happening. You can, uh, as I'm showing, play a little bit with um, coming halfway forward, like if you were going into a plank, maybe bend a little bit the elbows or the shoulders. Find some stretches here a little bit of going side to side. I'm just giving ideas and start digging a little deeper into your Ujjayi breath. Breathing through the nose, toning the fronts of the legs, lifting through the hips, drawing that core in, relaxing the neck and the head. And after a little bit more of that, whenever you feel ready, start toning more the tops of your thighs, hip creases up and back, and find that stillness in down dog. Good. Let's go from here. Ujjayi breath, as I said, let's start inhaling. We are coming into plank pose. Exhaling, we push back into downward facing dog. Lengthen those heels. Inhale, coming into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhaling, plank pose. Lengthening, exhaling into downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half a lift, lengthening the spine. Exhaling, we fold, release. Press through the feet. Inhale, come all the way up. With the exhale, I'm bowing again. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhaling, we come all the way up again. Exhaling, we fold one more time. Inhaling, half lift, open the chest. This time we exhale, sending the right leg back. We come into a lunge. Inhale, push back. Exhale, come towards the lunge again. Inhale, push back. Exhale, bring it forward, let the hips drop. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We are going into the last one. Inhale. This time, exhale, bring the right foot forward and fold. Press through the feet all the way up. Exhaling, we fold again. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, push back. Exhale, lunge 
four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Stay steady. Find your rhythm. Last one. I'm bringing that left foot forward. Fold. Press through the feet. Come all the way up. And exhale to Tadasana. Let the arms rest. Good. Next inhale. Utkatasana chair pose. Go deep. Lengthen the spine. Inhale here. Exhale, stay. Inhale, go up. Exhale, release the arms. We go again. Inhaling into chair pose. Exhale, stay. Lengthen your spine. Drop the tailbone down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, go up. This time we exhale and we fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, right leg goes back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, stay. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stay. We switch sides. Again, lengthen through the sides. Lift the armpits. One more. Exhale, bring the left foot forward and fold. Press through the feet, come all the way up. Exhaling, we fold again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale in plank. Exhale, come down. Inhale in cobra pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, go up to down dog. Exhale and stay. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, right foot forward in between the hands. Inhale, arms up, crescent. Exhale. Inhale, stretch again. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, left elbow to right. We find a twist. Press with the right palm into the left. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, push the back heel. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg again goes up. Exhale, come to plank with that right leg up. Inhale, send the left arm forward. We are balancing. Exhale. Bring the left hand down. Push back up into a one leg down dog. Bend the right knee. Open the hip. Level the shoulder. Send the belly in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale here. Exhale, touch down. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale. One more. Inhaling. Exhale, release the right hand. Bring the left foot forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Find Tadasana on your exhale. One full breath we find here to reset. Let's go. Inhaling, arms up. 
Open the chest, exhaling. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for one breath. Exhale, let go. Inhaling, left leg goes up and back. Left foot comes forward in between the hands. Inhale, we come back up to high crescent. Lengthen through the sides, pubic bone up, tailbone down. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale here, leaning forward. Exhale, right elbow goes to the left. We twist, pressing the left palm into the right to bring the chest and belly up. Push through the back heel. Inhale. Good. Back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, come to plank, keep that left leg up. Inhale, right arm forward, a little bit of balancing. Ha. Exhale, left leg goes up and back again. Bend that left knee, opening the hips, level the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Left leg again, up and back. Left foot forward in between the hands. One more time, high crescent. Exhale, bring the hands down. Twist over to your left. Breathe in. Opening the chest here, leaning back. Exhale, right foot forward and fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling, we find that Tadasana one more time. Good, let's take a moment to reset. Take another breath here. Notice temperature in your body, your breath, and any sensations arising. Can you be content just trusting your journey without expecting any specific results? Commit to be present with what's happening in this moment, okay? We'll keep moving, inhaling, arms up overhead. You can hook your thumbs, open the chest. Exhaling, we fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. Sphinx pose, inhale, forearms in front. Bring the shoulders back, lift the sternum. Exhale, stay. Inhale again. Exhale, bring the palms together in front of you, okay? I'm lacing fingers so you can keep the palms together. Tuck your toes, inhale, come to forearm plank. Exhale, stay, push through the heels, inner thighs up. One more breath. Good, now start pushing the hips up, walk your feet closer, dolphin pose. Keep breathing here. Push the chest towards your legs. Let the neck and the head become long and heavy. And push with your elbows and forearms towards the top of your mat to elongate and elevate as much as you can here. Another breath. Slowly walk back, forearm plank. Then slowly bring the knees, hips down, come all the way down. Hands under the shoulders, cobra pose, inhale. You can go a little higher if you want. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up and back. Right foot comes forward in between the hands. We are going to turn the back heel in and down and we are going to take warrior one. 
good. Different than the lunge, right? My back heel is planted. Lift through the inner arches. Let that front knee bend. Good. We're going to do a little sequence here, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now I'm going to inhale, extend my front leg. Exhale, come forward and fold. Inhale, come back to warrior one. Exhale, straighten the front leg, lengthen and fold. Again, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lengthen and fold. One more. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lengthen the trunk and fold. We stay here for one breath. Good, and then we return, warrior one. Exhale, hands to heart. And from here, we'll take it into warrior three. Find that balance, add props if you need them, firm the hips, lengthen the torso, and even if your balance is not too steady today, think of breath supporting your practice. Good. Then slowly touch down with the fingertips, lift the left hip up, and we are going to try and bend that left foot, left knee to catch the foot and press the foot into the hand, opening the chest. This is like a half moon, but with the knee bent. If this is not happening, don't. <laughs> Option here today to maybe try and send your right arm to catch your left foot as well. Slowly release, let go, turn the hips down, back we are into the warrior one, inhaling, exhaling, downward facing dog, inhaling plank, Exhale, inhaling, lifting, broadening the chest. Exhale to downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Push the mat away. Keep your inner shoulder blades spacious. Good. Second side, left leg goes up and back. Left foot comes forward in between the hands. We turn the back heel in and we take warrior one. Settle with your breath. Lift the inseam of your right leg into your bones. And we're going to start that little sequence that I did before on the other side, okay? So we inhale, straightening the front leg. Exhale, lengthen trunk and come down. Again, inhale, bend the front knee, push into the outer edge of your back foot. Exhale, lengthen and fold. Again, inhaling, warrior one. Watch your breath, exhale, lengthen and fold. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to warrior one. Exhale, hands to heart. When you're ready, inhaling here, we move into balance again, warrior three. You can always keep your toes touching down or find extra support if you need with blocks or anything else. Steadiness through your breath, concentration, slowly touching down. Good, we open that right hip. It looks like half moon. You can stay here if this one is it for you today, or you can go and catch your right foot, push the foot into the hand and open the chest a little more.
option here to play as you keep your steady breath with bringing maybe the left hand to catch the foot as well. <laughs> maybe not. Good, let's release <laughs> slowly, warrior one. Back up we go. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. Inhaling, up we go. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Good, we are going to breathe here four long steady cycles. If you feel like you need to come to child's pose and do it instead in your child's pose, then come down. Both are working perfectly fine. If you're choosing to take this rest in your down dog, drop the head, let the neck be long, just stay steady through your limbs and try and find a little bit of release even if you are in down dog. For the child's pose, it may be a little easier to find more stillness and return to the sensations and resettle, regroup through your breath. Last breath in your position. Good, and then we come back downward facing dog. Good, from down dog when you're there, inhaling plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. We are going to bring our arms again in front, forearms, sorry, in front for that sphinx and lift, open the chest, lift the sternum, fire your glutes, press through the tops of the feet. Good, then I'm going to turn my right forearm in towards the left elbow. I'm going to tuck my toes. I'm going to lift into a forearm plank and turn it over to my right. So I'm stacking my feet, lifting my under waist and sending my left arm overhead if you have the space. <laughs> Good. Stretch there, lift, push through your right forearm, take another breath. Exhale, come down, switch sides. I'm turning my left elbow to the right, stacking both my feet, lifting the underside of my waist, left side up and then bring that right arm up or overhead if you have the space. Breathing in, breathing out, bring it back, forearm plank, knees down, pelvis down, hands under the shoulders, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, right foot forward in between. Left foot comes down parallel to the back of your mat. Coming up, warrior two. Good. Find that warrior two and settle there. Drop the sacrum, lift the trunk. Good. Inhale here in the warrior. And exhale. We are going to do also another little sequence here, okay? This one goes like this. Inhaling, we straighten the front leg. Exhaling, we come to triangle. Inhaling in triangle. Exhaling, I'm bending my front knee, coming to side angle, okay? Then I'm inhaling, coming back to warrior two. I'll guide it, we go together, okay? Inhale. Exhale, straighten, inhale, go to triangle, inhale in triangle, exhale, side angle, inhale back to warrior two, exhale, straighten, 
Lengthen, inhale, exhale. One inhalation, exhale, side angle. One more, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, press through the front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, triangle. Inhale there. Exhale, side angle. We are going to stay here. Firm the glutes, open the chest. One more breath. Your exhale takes you back down, downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg again, up and back. Right knee to chest, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, right leg threads over to the left. Inhale, turn and lift. Exhale. Inhale, come back. Exhale, down dog. Sorry, Solly. <laughs> Inhaling, plank pose. Exhaling, coming down. Inhaling, up we go. Exhaling, down dog. Good, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, we switch sides. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Left leg, inhale, send it to the skies. Exhale, left foot forward, we turn the back foot down. Coming up, warrior two. Nice, guys, you're doing great. <laughs> Good, let's keep going. Soften here through the front thigh. Lift through the torso, relax the shoulders. We are in warrior two. Good, we'll start this little sequence like we did on the other side, okay? So we inhale, pressing into the front foot, straighten. Exhale towards triangle. Inhale, exhale, bend the front knee, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale in triangle. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the legs, squeeze the butt, okay? Inhale, exhale, exhale to side angle one more time. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, press straighten, inhale, exhale, inhale, side angle. And we stay here, use your left arm to push the left leg and open the chest a little more. Next exhale, bring the right hand down, back to downward facing dog. Last portion, inhaling left leg up. Exhale, left knee to chest, plank pose. Stay there, inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, left leg to the right. Inhale, lift, twist, open. Inhale, return back to downward facing dog. Plank pose, you can skip the vinyasa if you're tired. Coming up. Let's exhale into a child's pose. Good, let's take another moment to return and make sure that we slow down. Notice anything arising in this moment. Perhaps you can hear the sound of your breath. Maybe there are thoughts arising. Remember, we are always practicing in compassion, kindness, awareness, and using the experience to get to know ourselves a little deeper. 
so we can carve a practice of moving towards the divine within ourselves. Go two more breaths. Nice, from there we're going to slowly lift up into a seat and we're going to bring the legs in front just for a moment here. Wiggle the legs. Good, we are going to bend both knees, put the feet on the mat, bring your hands behind your fingertips pointing forward, bend the elbows a little, roll the shoulders back and lift through the chest. Okay, we are going to keep this action all the time. We are going to press through the hands and we are going to do several repetitions to work with our breath, okay? Steadiness there, finding the pace. Inhaling, we lift. Exhale, high touch down, just a tiny bit, okay? So lightly, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, push the floor away, lift the tailbone in. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, we stay there. Squeeze through the glutes. Last breath. Exhale, bring it down. Come on to your back, hug both your knees and rock a little bit side to side. Good. When you put your feet down, make sure you have space overhead. So I'm going to move a little bit so I have that space. We are also going to take a few runs of a mobile bridge pose. And then in the last one, we are going to keep it more steady in place and still, okay? Find the position for the feet. Let them be a little wider than your sitting bones. And then wiggle those shoulder blades down. We are going to go with the arms up overhead and then back down, okay? And we are going to use our breath. So pushing firmly through the feet, let's inhale, lift, send the arms overhead, exhale, bring it down. Go with the breath, okay? Inhaling, scoop the tailbone in, lift the hips, exhale, bring it down. Three more. Inhaling, exhale. Good, last one. I'm pressing through my feet, spreading my toes, scooping the tailbone in. Once you get up there, now you can modify the position of your arms. If you usually lace the fingers behind, or catch the mat or whichever version you want. Take a deep breath. And one more. And one last. And then slowly bring it down. Take your time to land. Put the soles of the feet together. Let the knees go wide, hands on your belly, and rest your body. Three breaths. Go with your gaze to your breath. Feel it move in through all your pores, all parts of your body drawing the breath, the energy in, and all your pores releasing, softening, letting go. So we become lighter. And we just keep what we need. Good, one more breath.
super. From here, slowly, I'm going to bring my knees back towards one another. Again, I'm going to make space between my feet. And today we are going to try and work with the breath and go a little further. So I'm going to play a little bit with a mini sequence with the wheel pose. If you are in the prelim preliminary stages of the uh, wheel pose, then you're going to just do some attempts like you've been doing perhaps or working on, maybe working on coming towards your head first, which is what I'm going to do. And then from there, push up. And then you'll come down, you'll take a breath and then we'll go up again several times. We're going to try and do that today, okay? If you get tired or you think that this is not for you and you don't want to test it or practice going up towards the wheel, you bring a block under the pelvis and you do a supported bridge pose, okay? Good, so for this one, hands next to my head, I'm giving myself a little bit of space there, okay? The first inhalation will be to go into the crown of my head. So pushing through the feet and the hands, inhale to your head, exhale, push and lift. One breath there. Exhale, tuck the chin in, come down. I'm staying here for a moment and I'm going to repeat, inhaling where I am. Exhale. Good, again, I'm going to put my hands next to my head. Same idea, inhaling to the head. Exhaling, push, lift yourself up. Exhale, tuck the chin. Come down and release, hands to the belly. We have a couple more to go. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Hands around the head, press firmly. When you're ready, inhale, crown of the head. Exhale, push. Inhale, tuck the chin. Exhale, coming down. Good, one last one. Bring those that tapas <laughs> component into the practice, right? Going through challenge, bringing our fire one more time. Hands framing the head, press through the feet, inhale into the head, exhale and push, last push, stay there, scoop the tailbone, push the mat away. Tuck your chin in. Coming down slowly, let it go. Knees touching, feet wide. Hands again, one to the belly, one to the heart center. Three breathing cycles. Notice the energy moving in through your palms, into your being. And releasing from there as well. Good. Slowly widen the knees. Also open your arms to the sides. And let's take a few windshield wipers with the knees going side to side. Don't push them hard. Just let them come and go. Good. Next time you go over to the right, let the right foot come over the left knee, chin to the left. If you have the space, extend the arms and take two steady breathing cycles. Back to center, release the right foot, come back. Both knees over to the second side. Chin to the right, left knee on top of the right, sorry, left foot on top of the right knee. If that is available for you, if it feels too intense, just put the left foot down. Softening the face. Good, then slowly releasing and coming back. Hug both your knees into the chest. Rock a little bit side to side.
girl. I'm going to roll over to the side and come back up. And I'm going to surprise you because I'm going to do a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to do a mini sequence that it's going to move towards the end. And this one also requires some tapas. The idea is to use our breath. So I'm going to show you what we are going to do, okay? So you may, I mean, I'm going to use a wall. So you will need a wall if you want to follow my lead. If not, if what I'm going to show you, and I'll tell you in a second what it is, you don't want, you just bring a block with you, you put it under the pelvis and you're gonna elevate your legs and stay there for 15 breaths, okay? For the ones who are going to the wall with me, I'm going to give two options. This is if you feel confident and you feel like you can do it. Option number one, it's a headstand. That means that you need to be able to go onto your forearms, hold the crown of your head, and that you don't have any neck issues so you can hold the posture up the wall, okay? That's number one. If you do not want to do a, a headstand, you're going to attempt a handstand and that handstand needs to be at the wall because I want you to work with your breath and not so much on holding the, um, the handstand without any support, okay? So I'm going to show that one because I didn't prepare, I didn't set up my stuff for the headstand, but I'm going to put my hands, they are under my shoulders, my wrists are lined up with my shoulders, the wall will help a lot with that, and I'm going to kick, and the idea here is to line up again, head, heart, pelvis, elevate the hips, push the floor away, don't squeeze the shoulder blades, and I want you to breathe for 15 if you can. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Of course, you keep it as long as you can do. Lengthen through the sacrum. If you are not doing this, I'm demoing, okay? So you stay there as much as you can. Maybe it's 10 breaths, maybe it's five. You will feel some fire coming up, okay? As you do that, that's the idea. A little bit of fiery practice supported by your breath, okay? If you're doing the legs up with the block, then you are just using the support to create an upward energy, right? Energetical movement towards the skies. Whenever you come down from your handstand or headstand, if you were practicing that, you're going to come into Uttanasana, bending the knees a little bit, dropping the torso over the legs, and letting the neck and the head just become long and heavy. If you need blocks in front, bring them in front. If you need to swing a little bit side to side, you swing a little bit side to side. Good. Next portion of the sequence, you can come towards a squat and from the squat, come down onto your mat and sit. <laughs> Good. The next part is a shoulder stand. So if you want to, again, today we are attempting <laughs> little things. If you want to go into the shoulder stand, I usually recommend a minimum, a minimum of two blankets. And you can use also the wall. It's a very good way to lift into the shoulder stand. I'm gonna place it there close to the wall so I can use it to lift, okay? If you're not practicing the shoulder stand, again, you can bring the modification would be that if you have a wall, I would very much like it. If you put maybe a bolster or a blanket close to the baseboard and you just elevate your legs like a shoulder stand, but with the support of the wall, okay? So it would be legs up the wall. If you're atten attempting at a shoulder stand, I'm bringing the very top of my shoulder, tops of my shoulders into the border of my blankets. Of course, there's space for my head here. So I'm not um, pushing the wall or touching the wall at all. My neck has space. So there's a curve there that it's natural for my head. 
And like I said, the wall can be a very good helper because instead of having to kick my legs over the head, I can just do a little push up and find the wall to help me elevate a little more, okay? So I'm walking my feet up the wall. I'm bringing my hands as far down into my thoracic spine as I can. And I'm trying to bring my elbows in. So I'm hooking my shoulder blades closer to one another. Once I feel more upright, maybe I'm going towards that balance. Internal rotations, rotation for the inner thighs, for the upper legs, and then push up through the heels, lift those hips as much as you can, make the thoracic spine as tall as you can. Bring the inner gaze into your throat and use that awareness to breathe. Two more cycles, whatever you are. Good, if you're close to a wall like me, you could of course bring your feet there, bend your knees just to help yourself calm down. And we always want to return in a paced manner. Okay, when you come down, relax your arms to the sides perhaps so, or overhead and take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, I'm going to roll to the side so I can take my blankies out. <laughs> if you have them, you can remove them. Then you return to your back. Hug both knees, rock a little bit side to side. Good. And then I'm going to keep my right knee with me, extend the left leg out, just take a twist with that right knee over to the left and extending the right arm to the side. One more breath. Then slowly return. Ah, nice, extend that right leg, bring the left knee in. And whenever you feel ready, right hand brings that left knee over to the right, chin to the left, left arm heavy. Beautiful, let's come back to the center. Happy baby, if you want to add that before Shavasana, or you can start preparing because we are at the time, you can start moving towards the rest. If you are at home practicing and you have more time, of course, <clears throat> rest as much as you can. If you're moving towards your activities, it's always good to keep a little bit of a moment of bringing stillness into the body and releasing all. I'll let you know when we are done, add any padding of any kind, maybe eye pillow, maybe bolster, anything, or perhaps just turning off the lights in your room. This is the moment when we receive the benefit of the practice. One aspect of contentment is being unattached to the results of our actions. So in this moment, we let go of all of that and we receive.
Returning to your breath, your body, your womb. Maybe a stretch through the arms, perhaps just wiggles through the fingers and toes. We always try to keep kindness through the face, serenity in the spirit, and a peaceful way of ending the practice through the breath. <clears throat> As you move towards the end of the practice, <clears throat> I'll invite you to close with a short seat. And as we close, bring both palms to rest one on top of the other in front of your heart center today. In this place, this little cave, this little home where our inner life, spirit, true essence lives, that's where we find contentment in everyday life, in the little things, even though we all go through lots of challenges every hour. If you find that stillness within and use gratitude as a guide for what you already have, it's much easier to find that contentment in everyday life. We close today the practice finding one thing we are grateful for. And that one thing that showed up for you, make it a mantra today, a banner, a reminder. Whenever you need to pause, take a deep breath and reset. Thank you guys so much for joining this flow practice today. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart and bow in. Namaste.